are inside of a newly abandoned high school. This place is really, really in good condition. Yeah. Like, absolutely, like, almost perfect condition. Just enough messed up to the point where you know it's abandoned. There's a bunch of classrooms that are still intact. There's a lot of stuff left behind. And there's power on. And there's power on. Yeah, it's always a surprise when you walk into a hallway and a motion-centered light pops on. <laughs> I always say I never know why they leave the power on in these places, but it's got to be a reason. Let's go see what's going on. Let's do it. This is an old auto mechanics classroom. You don't see these too much anymore. They usually come up in vocational schools. This is a regular high school, so I guess they were kind of unique. But yeah. If you get any chemicals or you light on fire or something like that inside one of these science classrooms, that puts you out. So you just run under there and... Our three favorite words. Yeah. Imagine, explore, create. So we imagine, then we explore, then we create. Yes. Deadpool. What do you think? It's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff left behind. The classrooms are like basically untouched. Um, there's not really many supplies left. I did see an art room down the hall that had uh, like spray paint cans, which is interesting, but um, so far so good. That looks like something. The flashlight. Don't be gross. This is some of the coolest hallway art I've ever seen. Only because it has skulls and that cool kid in the forest and everything else. It's a Christmas phone. 
That's how you call the North Pole. Taking the map? Yeah, so that we don't get lost and we can use up our daylight wisely. Some of these lockers still have locks on them. Is there wonder... anything inside? Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell because they're locked. The school actually might have closed down in 2016 because this locker says class of 2016. So, which kind of makes more sense. I feel like if it was 2014, it'd be way more destroyed than what it is. So. So. Maybe it's 2016. It's obviously 2016. <laughs> Unless we find something that says 2017, it's 2016. It looks like when the school closed down, they let all the kids that went to the school start signing the walls because they see a lot of classrooms with signatures on the walls. There's two gymnasiums here, right next to each other. This is the larger one, and then there's a smaller one there. But this seems to be the one that they'd play all the basketball games in and that sort of stuff, so it's pretty cool. This area right here looks like it was lit on fire at one time. We have to stay low because of these windows over here. So I'm just rolling on this chair real quick. The auditorium. This is actually a really cool auditorium. They have cool woodwork back there that I'm gonna show you if you can't see it already. And they have cool brick surrounding this whole thing. All this woodwork right here, you can kind of see it. We could still get light if we open up all those doors. You just can't use your light. Trying to find the light switch for these lights. how cool all those flats are. Kind of reminds me of the Polynesian. That's some old like 70s style stuff. Right? Yeah, the, the wood flats. Yeah. Yeah. This is upstairs where they used to control the lighting. Audio, all that stuff. For whatever kind of show is going on up there. They control all the lights. Put a spotlight on somebody. Look at all these buttons. House dimmers, all these switches. I don't know what they do. I'm not really gonna mess with them too much. I'm not gonna mess with them at all, actually.
That all the sets? Young Frankenstein. That's cool. See that? A lever. Right now we're standing in the music room and we came in from somewhere over here. So we gotta go back here and go around. We're inside of a music room right now. And this is a little unusual inside of a high school also. It's a sound studio. You can come in here and play guitar, sing, play drums, do whatever, and get a quality sound out of it because it's soundproof. You can't get anything out of the outside. There's no background noise or anything like that. They lock you inside of here, start playing or singing or doing whatever it is that you do, and you get good quality tunes. This reminds me of the room from Saw. You know, the one where Jigsaw is laid out in the middle of the room, like he's a dead person and the two guys are fighting over getting out or whatever it is. Yeah. It looks like there's blood on the floor. And like it starts from here and you just follow it. And it leads us to the library. That's pretty freaking crazy. That's definitely blood. I wonder what happened. And whose blood that is. It looks kind of new. Oh wow, look at all the stuff that's in here. The yeah, this is cool. Yeah, there's stuff. Look at that. It's awesome. Look at this. Look at all this cool stuff. This must be here. This is how you develop all your pictures. All your film. It's definitely cool to see one of these. I've never seen one in person. My school never had dark room. This is a really cool room. I've never... I don't think I've ever been inside of a dark room. I definitely haven't. It's cool. Did not expect this to be inside of here. It's an old t-shirt press. You put your design and you press to your t-shirt. And I guess these are samples of t-shirts that the kids have done. Looks like it. I would love to have made t-shirts at my school. This was the greatest high school ever, I think. So this has been a really, really great explore and a really cool school. Yeah. I did not expect that there was going to be this much stuff and this much, like, cool of classrooms inside here. I never seen a high school with so many cool programs that they had. Two gyms. A dark room, along with a graphics room, a technology department, mechanics, a big auditorium, and a bunch of other stuff like a regular school would have. But yeah, this place has been really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go check out this guy, DK, for you to see on Instagram. Obviously, check out our Instagram, her Instagram. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next spot. Peace. Peace.